Kendra, are you sure about this? She's not just any person, she's THE Falcon. I don't care. I'm sure I can handle her. Alright. Jake's still coming with us either way. What do you think will happen? I have no idea. I just want to know what she wants. I know. I'm just... worried about you. I know how much hatred you have against them, against her. And knowing how short-tempered you are, I just... I don't want you to get all too hot, you know? I'm aware, Amethyst. I just want to end things properly and give justice to my family. Kate and Kate have been dealing with this for as long as I can remember, and I want to live in peace. Much more now that... I understand. I'm with you. We are with you. We'll put a stop to this. Thank you. Now, where are my guns? At the back. I got you the green case. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, I swear. That rifle is too beautiful to do the dirty job. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. Costs a bunch too, so it should do the work perfectly. I'll bring my set of knives too in case I'd engage in close combat with some of them. Good idea. Jake's already there too, and we should be getting surveillance feeds by now. Got it. And we're almost there. Just what in the world were they thinking anyway? I think they can get away this time. <laughs> ETA in 10. You ready, Kendra? You bet. Let's get this over with. Well, well, look who we have here. The ever-daring Kendra. Or should I say, Agent Zero. <laughs> you are still inefficient, Falcon. Don't worry. This time I'll make Cheddar shut you down for good. Oh, but you won't be able to. Not when Raven is one step ahead of you. Raven? Ah, forgive me. Raven is my best agent and he's already fulfilled all necessary steps to get rid of you. We're just waiting for one more thing, and I'll succeed. I'm sure you won't. <sighs> you are persistent, Zero. However, your moves are all so predictable. This is the best you've got to win? How stupid. Stupid? <laughs> Let's get this over with. You've already wasted my time. Very well. <laughs> Try me. One swipe, you're dead. Pull the trigger and the blade will touch you. Poison blade? How old school of you. You've underestimated me, Falcon. Admit defeat. And what? Bow down to you? Surrender? To you? There's no future in your hands. There is. I am certain of my future. And the future of the lives of those who walk in the path my parents have made. Your parents are cowards. <laughs> Say that again in the next book goes through three. Kendra! Travis? Go on, Raven. Finish your job! Why are you still Kendra, here, Travis? Kendra, I never should have come here. She's going to kill you. Not if I do it first. Listen, you've been creating chaos for too long, Falcon. Kendra, wait! What? No! <laughs> Kendra! And I will end her, Raven! You have to stop this, Serena! Isn't it enough that you took Mom... And Dad, away from me. What else do you want? I want you gone, Kendra! You took Travis away from me. You took my chance of being happy. I was supposed to run the agency, but you just had to step in. I never stepped in. I am the rightful heir. But I'm older than you. Doesn't that make me the heir? Zarina, you were adopted. <laughs> you know, ever since you moved out, attending university, Mom and Dad told me about the adoption papers. But I always knew. They just confirmed my suspicions. Suspicions? Serena, come on. You've always hated me. Ever since we were little, you were so distant. Especially at school. 
You pretend like you don't know me. You pretend I don't exist. I... You were always the better daughter. And everyone looks up to you. I can't even get recognition whenever I do something good. Better daughter? Yeah, sure. Have you actually heard mom and dad talk about you? They were always, Zarina should be your role model. Or Zarina did well on her exams. You should do the same. You're lying. If I was lying, then they never should have given you the university and the foundation. What are you saying? You rejected them the moment you found out that the agency was under my name, without even knowing that what they left for you was far more important. You never gave them a chance. Zarina, you lied to us all this time. How could you? You said we're fighting them because they took all those things from you, but- But it was the other way around. You turned your back against the same people who gave you a home and a family. Just because you wanted to gain the things you thought you never were given. This is not the Zarina, not the Falcon that I knew. You would always listen and understand both sides. You made us look like fools. You made us believe that we were fighting for what is right. Travis, I didn't know. Of course you didn't know. You turned your back on us. On them. Our parents. Our family. You should have listened. Look, I came here because I wanted to fix what was once broken. I wanted you have what you've always deserved. And I want to see my best friend one last time before I- Kendra, I just want you to be happy. You deserve to be loved and to be taken care of. I know that Jackson's doing all of those, and more. And what about you? You've already dealt with a lot too, and now- I'll be fine, Kendra. Just don't forget about me. I won't. How can I ever forget you, Travis? Just take care of yourself, okay? Kendra! I I'm sorry! Serena. The documents that you need are inside of the case outside. The green one. I'm sure you'll know what the passcode is. Mom and Dad taught you. So... Take care of Travis. Hurt him once and I will hunt you down. Please, tell Kaden and Kate that I'm sorry. And that I miss them a lot. Sure. Travis? I'll see you out. Kendra, are you alright? Dizzy. Must be from the cut. I'll treat your wound first. No need. Jackson's probably waiting for me. Inside. <sighs> I meant what I said. I do love you. But I'd give up being physically close to you just to be sure of your safety. I already risked too much fighting for what I thought was right, and I want to do better this time. Not just for me, alright? Do it for yourself. Travis, you're a good man and an even greater friend. I think you should focus on yourself this time. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for everything, my Kendra. Until we meet again. Jackson, Jackson she has a cut. Hey. It dried up. It's it's not that deep either. I'm all I right, think. Travis. Be safe, you two. We will. Where will you and Zarina head off this time? Uh, I'll probably take her out of the country. Get some fresh air and stuff. We'll be alright, don't worry. And the wedding? It, it was just for publicity. All part of her plan. I don't intend on marrying your stepsister. She's a friend, but no one ever compares to you. Travis, don't close your heart. But yes, I think you need to heal all of your wounds inside and out first. Yeah, smart cookie. Alright, you two go now. Alright. 
until we meet again. Jackson, make her happy. Thank you, and I'm sorry. Drive safely, man. I love you, Kendra. Goodbye. <laughs>